The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And you don't want to be around when they do. Monterey Bay, California. This pristine ocean playground draws a variety of creatures, from playful sea otters to ominous great white sharks. But some of the biggest seaside visitors here are humpback whales. Humpback whales are amazing creatures, and they eat these little tiny shrimp called krill, amazingly small food for such a big animal. And they're often near the beach, so these big whales come very close to shore to be able to eat their meals, and that allows us to get great views of them doing these incredible feeding behaviors. On a foggy morning, a group of friends have paddled out to see a pot of whales in the bay. And while the law states you must stay at least 100 yards away, sometimes it's the curious whales that want a closer look at their human visitors. As the humpbacks feed and play near the amazed kayakers, it's obvious these whales are way closer than 100 yards, and that could be deadly. I got him, I got him on video. That's when a whale no one saw suddenly breaches from the depths right beside a pair of frightened kayakers. The 66,000 pound Goliath dwarfs the little ocean vessel. And what goes up? I got him, I got him. Under. Must come down hard. I got him he knocked it over. Humpback whales are really big, about the weight of an empty rail car. It's big, so you could imagine if that landed on the kayak, it would be a big problem. It's, it's hard to imagine that anyone could survive a direct hit from a humpback whale breaching. Thankfully, it's a near miss. Just seconds later, the kayakers pop to the surface, soaking wet, but otherwise unharmed. Seen again in slow motion, the whale appears to have altered its course mid-air to avoid the impact. But things could have been much worse. So when observing the awesome power of nature, remember, it's best done from a distance. I got him, I got him on video. I got him on video. Before we continue our countdown, here's a close encounter of the creepy crawly kind. Saskatchewan, Canada. Here in the far north, a nice lawn, tall trees, and a fruitful garden are what many people dream of. But in an area surrounded by leafy nature, you can occasionally draw ravenous pests, tent caterpillars. One of the things that tent caterpillars are most known for is their appetite. And so often when you encounter a colony, you'll see that all of the trees around have been defoliated. They're considered to be a pest in many parts of North America and Europe. They usually stick to wooded areas, but this unlucky resident has attracted not just 10 or even 100. This is a tent caterpillar swarm, and it numbers in the tens of thousands. These invaders are most likely looking for a new food source or a place to lay their eggs. Scanning the walls of this two-story home, they cover nearly every surface, and they're showing no signs of moving anytime soon. When the time's right and all of these eggs are being laid in the same time of year, the caterpillars will go out and forage and acres and acres of foliage will be completely gone. They won't leave a leaf unscathed. The army of caterpillars moves slowly but steadily toward every vulnerable entryway into the house. Some swarm the windows, while others crowd around the air conditioning unit. If you have females that are laying eggs at slightly different periods of time, there may be adult caterpillars and you clear all those out and think that you've finished it, but there's actually some eggs that are just about to hatch and a few days later, you have another tent caterpillar problem. Luckily, this population boom is seasonal. Once the tent caterpillars have had their fill, they'll move on 
to greener pastures.